Hey, D here is, from D is for Digital. Hope you are having a wonderful day and welcome to today's masterclass. We are going to continue looking at my favorite marketing, marketing tool, Canva. Um, now, in two of our previous masterclasses, we've covered creating a beautiful Facebook post and also creating a video post. And today I want to show you how to create an infographic. Now, if you don't know what an infographic is, it is basically a visual way of presenting sometimes complex information. You'll see them a lot on Pinterest um, and in articles, um, but I'm going to show you because they're brilliant. For if you're in training, they're great to have as an e-learning piece of content. But um, if you're in sales or you do customer service or you need to present information information in an engaging way, then infographics are a fabulous tool. So what we can do, we're in Canva now. Uh, I'm going to do a search for infographic. And here are all of the different infographic templates. Like there's loads of them. All different, you know, all of the colors obviously can be changed. The font can be changed. The images can be changed. But they have them, you know, the classic Italian pizza. You know, there's ones on countries, ways to stop world hunger. And basically what I'll do is I'll look initially for something that sort of jumps out at me. I'm kind of lighting this one. The best times to post on social media. That's kind of cool. And here you'll see on the left, they, they categorize the infographics, educational ones, process ones, business, timeline, charity, and then all results. Now here, the best times to post on social media, see so for Facebook, for Instagram, for Pinterest, for Twitter. Um, and you can link, you can click in here. So the best, if I wanted to change that, but I don't because times is perfect. The best times to post on social media. Um, and I might want to put my website down here, dhutchinson.com. Um, I like the clocks. Actually, there's very little to change here. But if I wanted, for example, to change some of the imagery up here, I could select all of that and I can delete it. And I can put in little different elements. So if I do a search on social media in here, it'll give me loads of different elements that I can use. So we can see here the Twitter, Facebook, there's a colorful one here. Oops, let me grab that and pull it up. It doesn't really fit, um, although I can change the size, but I like this one as well. Oh, sometimes it's hard to grab them. There we go. That's making it smaller. That's not good, is it? There we go, pull it out, but it's white. I could change, you see here, you can change if I really like this, I could make the outline red and I could fill it um, with another color, of yellow, if you wanted. So it's nice that you can rebrand these if you have different colors, but I don't like that one either. So I'm going back to elements. Um, and I can see recently used, but I want to do a search for social media again. And so maybe I just take this little one. Let's try and grab it. There we go and I can make it smaller. Um, I might want to put in my little Instagram one. Pull that up, make it smaller. And put a little subscribe one in, just to do something different. Now obviously I'd put a bit more work in it than this because I'm a little bit of perfectionist on these kind of things. Um, and they should be all lined up and kind of the same size. But you get what I mean. Maybe if we put a Facebook one up here as well. Oops. So I'll pull that, make it smaller. So we could do some. The last one was probably nicer, but you get what I mean. I want you to see that you can change and play with these. Um, and all I have to do then is download. Um, now you can download here as a, a PNG. Uh, a JPG, a PDF, I, I want a PNG and I can download and you'll see it's preparing the design. And these are super, see there you go now, there's my the best times to post on social media, perfect. But I'm going to show you another type as well. So maybe you want to do an educational one. So we saw here uh, 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 an education infographic. So I want to see all of these. And if you just click on them, it'll, uh, we're going to replace this current page. 
the importance of literacy, simple steps to bicycle safety. I love it. See, what I love about these and why they're powerful is they can break down into bite-sized little pieces of information, which can be beautiful. You know, maybe if you have a new product or service, you can position it this way if your customers need to understand it, you know, maybe how you sign up for it, what are the benefits or features and so on. Um, creating your business plan. Whoops. Let me close that. Click it. Creating your business plan. So starting a business, managing your business. And obviously you can change all of these. So if I wanted to say this is about not about a business plan, I can highlight and say this is about uh, how to get started in business or how maybe let's make the how to start your first business um, and I'll make that a bit smaller maybe two yeah I think I can make it a little bit bigger see the perfectionist coming out of me now I like that. And I can click here and I can go uh, 50. 50 is too big. I'm going to go 45. Yeah, we'll go with 45. And great plans evolve businesses. I don't like. Um, don't like what that says. So I'm going to change that and highlight and go uh, start with a fab business plan starting a business. So I can change all of these. Again, I can change the elements. So if I go to elements here and I didn't want a light bulb and I want something that says to me something around secure. Maybe I want something and I don't like the light. I can put this little, it says secure to me more. I can make that smaller and then I can make it white. So if I click on it, Oh, actually this one won't let me change color. That's strange. Usually you can click up here and it will let you change the color. So I'm not going to use that. I want one that I can change. Um, let me say if we chose this one. Yeah, you see the color is there so I can change it. So I'm going to make it smaller. I'm going to change the color to white. A little bit smaller again. And if I wanted to change the background of any of these, you can see here, so I've clicked here and here we can change colors. Uh, black obviously didn't work, white, we could make it yellow, pink, purple. Now it's probably fine. Actually, I don't mind that one, that's okay. Let's say we wanna make it pop. There we go. So we can change all of these. So they're very um, easy to play with, to make your own. You could add your own logo there if you want. You can change your, put your own details for your website, Hutchinson.com. Change the elements, change the text, and you're good to go. And again, I can download as a PDF, a PNG, a JPG, um, a video if you wanted it as a video, but there's no video elements in there. Um, so I'm just going to download the PG, PNG and you're done. And that's how you do two infographics pretty much in less than 10 minutes. And aren't they fabulous? They look professional. They look like money's been spent on them. Um, and I think the thing with this, with Canva is, is just to get in there and play with it. There are so many templates. You can really get creative and use all of the different elements that are available to you to great effect. Um, so just get in there and play and I will see you back tomorrow for another masterclass.